The Lividome controller is an ideal companion for Ableton Live. There are a lot of ways to map the controls of the Ohm to Live, and this demo will feature a variety of creative uses, triggering samples, playing synths, arranging, and using effects. First, I'm going to show you my live session. I have six different parts playing short MIDI tracks, and each part has three versions, dense, medium, and sparse. This lets me build up the song and bring it down as I choose from a spare dub to a complex sound. I also have two synths set up with no MIDI tracks on a couple of channels so I can play synth notes using the buttons on the ohm as one might use a keyboard. Finally, I have some effects on the A and B sends. I have the drums and bass parts routed to these effects so I can bring them in as I wish. In Live's preferences, the Livid Ohm is turned on for remote control, for controlling volume and arranging. In part two, we'll explore using the IAC MIDI loopback for instrument control. You can see I've already mapped a lot of notes and continuous controllers here, and I've created some custom minimums and maximums to the ranges I want. Now, in looking at Live and looking at the Ohm, it's probably obvious that I've mapped the columns of the grid to Live's channels and slots. Let's take a quick look. The drums are mapped here. The bass parts are mapped here in the column next to it. And I have a slow burbling melody here that I can bring in. and some other sounds, uh, and so on all the way through column 6. Of course I've mapped the vertical sliders to each channel's volume. And I've got the lower buttons here mapped to a mute. Uh, and this way the layout is familiar like a mixing desk. Using the extremely cool racks feature of Live, I've added some parameters to an effect knob, which I've mapped to the top knob of each channel, giving me some sonic variation for each channel. Start and stop are mapped to the F9 and F10 buttons for easy transport control, and the master volume and headphone volume are mapped to C1 and C2. So all this is very nice, and I can do a lot with this set just by connecting my ohm directly to live. I can mix different parts, arrange, bring in effects, and all the great things that live does really, really well are now at my fingertips. But I still have a lot of buttons available to me, and in part two, I'll show you how I map those synths using the own Connect software and a MIDI loopback.